election day, mm. how would you characterize the uh, electoral system so far? Uh, I think so far it's, it's, it's fine. I, I would not complain. What we can say is uh, we have been able to campaign. The only limitation that we have would really be from political party to political party. Our political party would be limited resources. But in terms of the political environment, uh, we cannot complain. There is a huge improvement in terms of uh, a political leader being able to go around, move around and campaign. We of course know that in some areas, we as a party haven't come across those uh, instances. But I've read reports saying that perhaps in some rural areas, there is some level of intimidation. But speaking for myself and the NCA, we are happy with the current political environment. In terms of your campaign, how would you rate your own prospects uh, uh, this coming election? They are very, very good. They are very, very good. We are a small political party that is using methods that are not common. We are not having these rallies. Because at the moment, we have not already established a membership base that can identify itself with us. We are growing. So what we have done is, is to spread our message, go into the people, get to communities. What we are doing here, as you can see, our members came to form a nucleus which would enable us to go around and talk to people what we are doing. So we have talked to so many people, and that's what we decided to do this time around. We are happy with that. So. Our prospects are very good. Remember, people haven't voted. They will vote on the 20th. So until a vote is cast in favor of someone else, you cannot say that that vote is lost for other competitors. Uh, in terms of the electoral body, uh, its conduct so far, how would you rate it compared to previous elections? Well, I think we, our complaint with against the ZEC as NCA has been, we don't know where they came up with the decision of the exorbitant nomination fees. I don't know who influenced them, where they got that idea from. That is what we are unhappy with, as far as that is concerned. Then there are issues uh, regarding how they've been handling matters. We, as the NCA, I'm included as presidential candidate, we have no complaints against the Electoral Commission at the moment. I just must put on record, there are people who are complaining um, in respect of the ballot, saying that uh, we were not consulted, we were not... We, of course, were not told about it, but we have no issues with the ballot. Uh, I think what is on the ballot would be, for the presidential ballot, 11 candidates. The ballot that we have seen, the 11 candidates are there. And I think Zimbabweans who are going to be voting on the 23rd should be able to locate the candidate of their choice and put an X there. We don't think that those are arguments that should dominate uh, our political discourse. Sure, thank you. Okay, there have been millions. There's been an issue of uh, the voters' role. From your point of view, the other oppositions were complaining about how the voters' role issue has been handled. From your point of view, what's your comment on this? Uh, we, we got a copy of the voters' role. Uh, our candidates have copies of the voters' roles in respect of councils and in respect of the um, constituencies. We are able to go through the list of the voters. For us as a party, we have no other role for the voters role, except to obviously check whether our names and our names of our supporters are there. We will watch more what the voters role will do on the day of the voting. What is important is that every Zimbabwean must turn up to vote and then we can only say the voters role is correct or incorrect if there are people who are turned away on voting day who would have been thought to be on the voters role. I don't believe that there would be people who would come from nowhere to be on the voters role if they are not on the list.